You know what's so weird with my yo's? Is that people are starting to say it's becoming iconic, which is... Thank you, thank you. I don't think I'm the one it that developed it. Is. I don't think I'm the one that developed it. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some other, other big YouTuber streamer that probably has the same shit. But the the thing is that like my yo's is like different every single yeah. time because I can't keep it consistent. <laughs> like I, I don't know how to. In all honesty, I don't know how to. It's just like so random. Like, but hey, anyways, 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 let's, let's move on. Okay. What is good, everyone? It's your boy J D back again with the second point of the Dark Souls One boss list from easiest to hardest, which in this case will be number thirteen to number one. So last time we discussed about the easier to make to yourself bosses. This video we're gonna get to the high ranks. All right, we're gonna get to the hard ranks. So with me Big today, I have. <laughs> Wait, yeah, wait, wait, yeah. what? The big boys and girls. Yes. Yes. Now, with me today, I brought a very special guest star with me, Hanfrey. Hey, what's up? Second episode now, but yep, I'm still sub, I'm Hanfrey. And yeah, I don't know what to say. Should I, Maybe I should introduce myself and how many hours I have with Dark Souls 1 again, just so everybody it's like on the same track, so I don't know. I Yo, like hey, about hey, 460 hey. hours in Dark Souls One now. Just it's not it's not like super pro level, but I know most of the stuff I'm talking about, like PVE wise. Now, be sure, be sure to follow Hamfi on his Twitch. He is a great streamer, very good, he does a lot of Dark Souls content, he does do Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeons as well, and he also does self Sting and a bunch of, you said variety streamer as well, right sometimes? Yeah, I, I stream a lot of variety. At the moment I'm completing, I'm completing Celeste 100%, which is damn tough. Yeah, so, do check him out. Definitely check him out. Give him that follow. Definitely check him out. Also, be sure to follow him on Twitter. He's very active. So definitely do check him out. And be sure to join his Discord as well. All the links to these social medias will be in the description below. But you can always just type in Hanfi and you'll find him. And now, before this video begins, be sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel or subscribe to my live reaction YouTube channel All that shit is in the description below. You already know all that whole stuff. All that good stuff. Let's get on with it Nice. All right, so I think it was my turn with number 13, right? Yeah, 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 13 because you are yeah, yeah, yeah 13. All right, go um, on number which, 13 Which is Chaos Witch Quaylock for well, That's the same for me <laughs> Same nice yeah, she, she's kind of in the middle of the pack, because she does the yeah, good damage. She does have that space denial with the lava and everything. So you gotta be careful, but overall she's pretty easy to avoid, I'd say. Like, yeah, like, for me, I would say, like, really her sword attacks are pretty different. Like, really, it's like, the lava. The lava is, like, the thing you gotta watch out for. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, I got freaking Mr. Typhi Guy. I swear I got every Dark Souls situation I got, I always gotta give a shout out to Typhi Guy. So we were fighting, uh, we were fighting Chaos Wix Quaylag, and like, I was like, I was just attacking her, and then like, I was just walking back, and like, I, I gave, like, I, and then like, uh, I was just like running around through the lava, like, just, you know, avoiding it, making sure I go here, it's like, and Typhi was like, you idiot! Why are you surrounding yourself with lava? And then I was like, I, I, I'm good, I got this, I got this. Nope, I did not die. I, I walked uh, straight into the lava. I was so like, toxic though, so toxic. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, like, he was like, boy, was like, boy, I told you. I told you, man, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did, he did tell me, he did tell me. All right. Yeah, but the lava attack is really the biggest thing. and. Also, like, if you hit the back and, like, if you hit it too much, she has, like, a whatever that pooping thing that she does from her, from her butt, but whatever that shit happens. 
And yeah, also her kind of shakes her spider butt. Yeah, yeah. And like, again, she also has the AOE attack, but like, at first, I thought it was so dangerous because I couldn't tell. But now, like, like there's like this thing where like if she like if she bangs her body down and looks like she's hugging the spider, that means she's about to do an AOE attack. So if you see that, you can get out of the way pretty easily. Yeah, I think the most important thing is just really the freaking shaking butt attack, honestly. Because I, I can't see it coming and it's super rare. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I, I just recommend always attacking her most outer leg. Uh, so you've got the most distance from her in case she does the AoE. So you can get in as many hits as possible. Um, you can run away from the sword and it will pretty much never hit you if you are scared of that and then just wait for any kind of lava attack she has a really really long spit and you can get a lot of hits in on that and fun fact Quelak was actually the first boss I ever like went in and said I want to do this hitless which was in my first soul level one run actually it's my only one why would I call it first but well since I only had like I don't know maybe a plus five weapon at that point, I think just a plus five club. I said, yo, this is not enough damage to uh, really kill her consistently like that. So I just sat down, took the poison, ate a nice little poison moss clump, got into red tear stone range, and I actually got her first try, which I'm still proud of. But that was, that was, I have fond memories of that so level one run, that was fun. But yeah, most of her attacks are pretty easy to avoid. Her jumping attack is also a bit annoying sometimes. Just cause the distance kind of varies depending on how far you are. So like dodging it is a bit weird. But she's not that hard. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot she also has a stomping attack. If you were on the outer legs. You gotta oh, yeah, watch yeah, out yeah, for yeah. Right, right, right. It's like her but, legs also gets a little bit like equipped with fire I think when she does it. Yeah, she has like a bit of explosions after that, but it's relatively easy to avoid. Like it has a huge wind up for sure. So yeah, just wait for the spit, go for the outer legs, then she's all right. And you can stagger her if you shoot the female body, not the spider. If you have a bow and can just stun lock her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a fun story. Yeah, yeah. Let's not bring up the you know the quail lag body situation. I uh. This is YouTube. Yeah. This is YouTube. We're, yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. going that shit. We're not going that shit. No, no, no. I always skip the cutscene on Twitch too. Don't want to get demonetized. Yo, remember the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood situation? Yeah. <laughs> with Kaguya. Bro, everyone was wild that time. <laughs> 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 I was like, wait, didn't you say like, like, <laughs> I forgot what you said. I literally forgot what you said. And it wasn't like at the scene. It was because like I paused it and like, and they just showed the scene in the pause menu and then like you said, damn, Cavio looks fine or some shit like that. Like, oh my god, dude. Hey, hey, I didn't mind all tire as well though. <laughs> <laughs> god damn though, that that shit was a, uh, yeah. I remember because. I was thinking about skipping it, but I just kept it for the chat. I just kept it for the chat. I mean, overall, I mean, okay, this is going to be off topic here, but overall, I think it's okay to show those scenes until we get to the real naked parts. Then we gotta, yeah, yeah no. Then we gotta, then we gotta, no. Absolutely. Yeah, no. fair enough. Fair or, if enough. They go, or if they just go straight on OD. Like we 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 got like oof. like God War God War is a perfect example. I don't know if you play any of those games. It's like, um, but they they're famous for having like these like sex scenes in there. Like skip all the time. Oh, yeah, God. dangerous to stream. For yeah, sure. no, but there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> there's no way. All right. Yeah, but maybe we should continue with Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's some hot. There's still some hot dudes coming up in Dark Souls. So <laughs> <I> <laughs> Yo, yeah, dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to number 12. Which, which is. Was yours? Crossbreed Priscilla. Ooh. Yeah, so. Remember so the last figure? In the last figure, you had, you had her so low. 
And then, like, I was like, well, I have it, like, way higher up. I was like, yeah, I get this it. This high, though. Damn. Yeah. My problem is her invisibility. And you said that the bleach strike doesn't do that much stuff to you. That shit just demolishes me. Like, the moment it gets really? a bleed and, like, I take a chunk of uh, HP's lost, another attack, I'm done. Like, it's so hard. I really, it was just being the invisible part that just always gets me. Yeah. The invisibility is very annoying, but of course you can make her out with the footsteps in the snow. I, I tried. I it's, tried. It's, I tried. It's still annoying to dodge her stuff, though. That's yeah, the yeah. Annoying part. Like I tried, but she knocks me on my ass, though. Like it's, it's over. <laughs> That's also why she's not in my total pushover tier, of course, because she she is a bit dangerous. Yeah. You gotta get your hits in. I know, like, if you have, like, Great Chaos Fireball, and, like, you, you attack you attack her while she's invisible, she will show up, she will appear. I know that. But even I then... I've never tried that, actually. It actually works. Like, if you, if it you should hit, work. If you get hit on her with the Great Chaos Fireball, she will show up. Hmm. But you got hit her with the Great Chaos. Like, if you hit, but miss, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks, but yeah. That's really all I gotta say about Priscilla. You already said your stuff in the previous video about Priscilla, so... Yeah, she's pretty simple anyway. Yeah, so what is your number 12? Number 12 for me is Taurus Demon, actually. Oh, Again. damn, so high up! Yeah, yeah, a bit higher than uh, you placed him. Uh, that's mostly... Because of his freaking lingering hitboxes and delayed attacks, they are just so annoying to dodge. Especially that downward uh, smash attack where he just drives his freaking axe into the ground. You can't dodge into that. It just lingers forever. It's like half a second or maybe even one second that it lingers. At least that's what it feels like. And he will stagger you at the beginning and he has good damage. He might even throw you off. Or, you know... He could jump off himself, but I do think he's actually quite tough. I have died to him even in recent runs, like seriously, he's tougher for me than most other bosses. Like that's why he's in the upper half. And like when you do the plunging attack, you'll usually be in a bad spot after because you land right in front of him and then you kind of have to escape between his legs. Yeah, that's always a hard that... point. Yeah, but if that doesn't work, then he'll just catch you with the freaking drive downwards. Yeah, you just get close down. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's why I usually don't even recommend going for the plunge attack too much, because it's tough to get out of there. Maybe you can finish him off with that. That's a cool strat. But yeah, he's pretty tough, actually, in my opinion. Alright. Doesn't have too many attacks, but still, still. Let's move on. I already said everything I wanted to say about the Taurus Demon on my side in the previous video. So, Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So l l let's move on to number 11, which is yours. Okay, number 11. And I was debating putting this boss much, much higher, but for now, she, it, I don't know, remains yet. It's the Bed of Chaos. Oh my god. <laughs> I have her so high up, it's stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, no, cause, like the the I go, you know, you do. I I say about this later. I say about this later. Like fighting Bell of Chaos, the legit way is maybe maybe the toughest boss fight in the game. <laughs> like I won't even lie. I I, I would die whiskey, to man. Man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like you gotta keep going so afterwards. <laughs> it's so stupid. Ah, uh, it's. I, like, I've literally seen a video yesterday that I also posted on my Twitter where somebody made it in phase 3 onto the last branch, right? They made it onto the last branch leading to the inside of the Bed of Chaos and then uh, when the bed swung at him from before, the attack from before, you know, the double swipe right, right, right. The, arm, the arm caught him on the tree and pushed him off that happened to me, dude. That shit, I literally had that shit on an Instagram video, dude. That's bull. That's actual bull. <laughs> that shit happened to me, dude. So, uh, why why is Battle of Chaos not much, much higher on your list, Hanfi? Well, I know how to cheese it. And the cheese is still much tougher than, say, Ceaseless or something. 
Like I've just gotta aim with a bow, throw two fire bombs at the correct branches, and then it's face free time, and I just roll inside, and that's it, right? But God, sometimes I mess up. Like Cause it's, not, mess it's up, not, cause it's not like a straight like you jumping rolling. You have to like go a bit curved. Hmm. How do you mean with the fire bombs? No, no, when you're going into the onto the tree branch, when you say you went to phase 3 and then you say you roll in. Oh, no, no, no. In phase uh, 3, I'm already right in front of her. So what you do in the beginning, you run right, uh, right before, or I guess behind the platform that would break in phase 3, you know? And uh, that reveals the branch that leads up to her, right? Yeah, yeah. You run right in front of her, and then you throw the firebombs. So you don't fall down when it actually does break, and when when you uh, destroy both of the freaking um, I don't know the cube thingies, I guess whatever they are called, you know the two things you gotta destroy at the beginning, right, right, and you right, can right. just rush in. Yeah, because I'm already in front of her. I don't have to get on top of the branch. That's the whole cheese. Like I don't have to deal with any of her attacks. Except, and this is where the cheese gets tough, in phase 2, after you broke the first cube, she actually gains another attack, which is um, a defense mechanism, you could say. There's like a fire wave coming out of the middle, and it's gonna push you off. And that it comes shit, out really, oh my it comes gosh. Out really, it comes out really frequently. It's quite stupid and it's damn tough. If you miss the second firebomb, you're gonna have to deal with that and get a pretty nice shot in. And if there's something even worse with that, if you hit the firebomb, you know, you go into the last phase right before the wave comes out, then the wave will actually push you onto the breakable platform <laughs> and you'll die. Yeah, that, that has happened to me in the Deathless run. That's where I took one death. Yep. Damn. That, that I was insanely mad. I was insanely mad. And then sometimes when you get in, you still have bad RNG and she just pulls out the Chaos Firestorm. It's actually stupid. Like, she, even with the she's she's still more dangerous than, say, Pinwheel or even Stray Demon. Let's be honest here. Yeah, she's very, very, very dangerous. Yeah. Oh, de dangerous. Of course, without the cheese even more. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why I have her way higher up because I didn't know about the cheese method. Yeah, yeah. But that's all I have to say about Bed of Chaos. Except that it has the only theme in the game that I don't like. So shit boss and shit theme. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Alright. Now it's time for Mining Number 11. Mining nice. Number 11. Is the Bell Gargoyles. Ooh, the Bell Gargoyles, yeah, they are pretty tough. Yeah, the Bell Gargoyles, like, especially if it's like your first time playing, the Bell Gargoyles, I would say, is like the boss that's going to really throw people into a loop. Yep. Like, especially for sure, for if they're sure. going one and two, or really we're going to go into a loop because these guys are pretty difficult. Like, going for something. Like, I'm not, like, even now, like, it's just like, Sometimes it's hard to dodge your attacks or fire attacks and you can also get thrown off All that whole stuff. It, it's, it's difficult. It definitely is difficult for sure Yeah but Like when, when you fight them 2v1 they are so strong. They are so unfair And then they double team you Ooh. Yeah they got The worst them. the worst freaking thing is about them When one pulls up the freaking fire breath and you're like yeah now I just run back, the other one will catch up, do like, I don't know, uh, Halbert smash, but no, he pulls out the fire to have the whole freaking arena is coated <laughs> in a hitbox. Nice, thank you very much. And you take a sorry death. Yeah, pretty much. And you can fall off too. <laughs> yeah, 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 they could go too close and knock you off as well, like they can. Yeah, that, that happens pretty yeah. frequently. Like, like, it, it's also true, if you like summon, because that, that place is like a big summoning spot. If you summon people mm -hmm. for help though, like, that the, the boss becomes much easier. 
But we yeah. just talk about one on one on one or one on two in this case. Yeah, true, true. So yeah, yeah that's all I have about Bro 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 Bro. Okay, then I'll move on. There's my for number ten. Um, yeah, yeah. With so Capra Demon. Oh my! Yeah, that's the yeah, same for that. me. Really, damn. Yeah, number ten is Capra Demon for me. Oh. I see. Okay, cap gaming. All right, when you enter in, you screw. <laughs> yeah. You tight. He will. He like, will like just. It's like. It's like you go in and going and you taking a blitz attack like right away, like straight up slash attack. Then those two dogs on top of that, like, oh my god, and like the small space too, like, it's so hard. Really, the hardest. Man. Point first time going into Capra Demon, nobody has survived the first try. I don't believe you if you say yeah, you survived the first Yeah, if you survived, there's no way. <laughs> no way, not, I, I doubt, there's no way in hell you would survive that shit. Unless you use the guide or something, or are over leveled. Yeah, or summon someone. Yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. there's no way you make it out alive legit. Let's be honest. <laughs> the first time around. Yeah. <laughs> it, really, the hardest part, though, I would say, is the dogs. Yeah. Because yeah. you gotta get rid of them first. So they they are gonna be crazy. And then yeah. after that, it's a bit bigger. But still, the tight space is really. That shit gets you, though. It's, but really, it's that first part. Because half the time, I gonna make it. Yeah, half yeah. The time, that's the main reason why he's number 10, because half the time I just don't make it. The best strategy is to, to just equip the wolf ring, then you can, I'm pretty sure, take two bites from the dogs, at least one, that's 100% sure. And even some attacks from the capital team and some lighter attacks. But yeah, when you, uh, when you join in, when you go through the fox door with the... Um, Wolf ring, you can actually take the first dog, but the second one will spawn a bit later, and then you just dodge the leap from Capra Demon like it's nothing, right? And then you get on the stairs, take on one or two of the dogs, right? Repeat. So, poise helps out a lot here, but most new players don't know what poise does at this point in the game, at least unless they use a guide. <laughs> so, that, that's just you got right. no shame, right? No shame for using that Dark Souls 1 guy on no your first No shame, no shame, of course. I mean, it's fair enough. This is Dark Souls. This is yeah. Dark Souls. He's all they you get. get. Yeah. yeah. But uh, a Capra Demon by himself is a bit of a pushover. And with Poise, he's pretty easy. If yeah, Poise yeah. was in the game, he'd land much, much higher. Yeah. For sure. And you can plunging attack him, which is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like if you if you make him fall down first, and then you get the plunging attack, you can go a lot of damage to him. Yeah, and damn, there really is no freaking space in this room. Like, oh, they made sure you have no space to dodge stuff. That's why he's like the hard one. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. But I, I think it's a smart choice, even though it's it's absolutely brutal. It's a smart choice, because otherwise that wouldn't even have been a boss fight. Yeah, it's, yeah. It would have been much easier if they had if they had more room, but the fact that they they tying up the room and two dots on top of that made the fight so much harder. Yeah, yeah. But uh, also be careful of, of the bleed build up from the dogs. Like, even if you're using poise, get some good bleed-resistant gear, of course. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Right. When you got poise, it's manageable. So, next one. Number nine, it's your turn. It's my turn, okay. So, um, the penultimate one in dangerous but glaring weakness that tier is... Sif. Great Grey Wolf Sif. Really? You have him higher than Kappa Geek? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because cause Sif can't bullshit you as easily as Capra Demon. Like, let's be real here. They both deal an insane amount of damage. They do, they do. But, but like... The, yeah, but like for me, I have Capra Demon higher because of that bullshit in the beginning. Yeah. But, nah, I, I think Sif is mostly fair, to be honest. So if you just get the fight down relatively well, you usually won't struggle too much. Like, for example, Sif has that 3-hit combo, 
two swipes and one strike down. That's the one I'm talking about. How is how is the freaking dog ever supposed to hit you with the third strike if it starts the animation while you're under him? Like <laughs> some like that's that's why Sif is in dangerous but glaring weakness. He does a lot of damage, but if you get under him, if you know about that strat, it's all right. Yeah, then you got him. That, that double that spin to win that he got from Artorias. That is kind of tied to dodge, with, even with fast run, but it's manageable. The, the most annoying thing actually for me, and that's honestly why he's this high, is um, a freaking animation between his fast running sweep, the upward sweep, and his, um, his uh, double spin to win. Cause I, I know the differences in the animations, but sometimes in the heat of the battle I can't tell. So I think he's gonna go in for the swoop, uh, but then he does the spin to win and I dodge right into it and eat two hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spin, the spin attack is stupid. Yeah, if you that see it can, coming, it's alright. That's, right. oh, that's like always like, unless you wear like really good armor, that's like, like a guaranteed one shot. Yeah. And like, if you do Sif after Ornstein as well, honestly, I think he's he's kind of weak. And I get, I get, I think I get him after Ornstein smog. Probably yeah, that's why I have him lower. And yeah, I think like after them, he's just kind of underpowered. But there isn't really any real reason to do him beforehand, because what do you get? A ton of souls. Maybe his uh, his soul, uh, I don't know, Covenant of Artorias, which you don't really need because you don't want to fight four kings and you don't even have to fight him to get the Hornet Ring. So that's not a thing. You can just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And just get the hell out of there. So yeah. Just, uh, if, if he was earlier in the game, he would be damn tough and much higher. Yeah, but, I think he would have been much higher if earlier. But his damage output is still crazy. He jumps around like a mad lad and can be pretty annoying, so he's still in the upper half. Yeah. Alright. It's time for my number nine, which is Seath the Scaleless. Ooh, so much higher than mine. <laughs> now, my biggest problem is that Seath, besides the ridiculous kill attack that we discussed in the previous video, yep, yep. Um, trying to get his tail weapon. Oh my god. Oh. The reason why I died so much is because of his getting that tail weapon. Because when you're trying to run, he always turns his body away. And sometimes, like, apparently you have to hit the right spot of the tail. Like, if you if you hit too close to it, too close to his body, you won't get the tail cut that way. Yeah, it's, you got to fix so that that's really the main reason that's the main reason i have this high up because getting that kill weapon is crazy oh and also when the when the clams follow you oh yeah gg yeah it's annoying unless you quit out of course as i said yeah yeah but i can know about that so. yeah i mean it's a pretty advanced thread of course like who would guess that you could quit out mid battle in dark souls when there isn't even a real pause menu right wait wait yeah. Yeah, that's all I got to really say about Seed though. And you Yeah, still does a tremendous amount of damage and yeah. first, but it's pretty abusable. Alright. So uh, my number so eight. Next one, right? Yeah, so my number eight is Grave Lord Nito. Mm. Now, Grave Lord Nito, that fall damage is stupid, and then when he just yeah. does that like when he, when he takes like a scream, he's like ah! yeah. and then it was like, ah, oh, shit, now that shit for a while. And then the skeletons, dude. If I don't have a divine weapon, I'm screwed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, trick, the trick I, with the streaming attack is to dodge it a bit earlier than you think you do. Like, you're not supposed to um, really dodge the sword itself. Like, when he slams it into the ground, it's all, that's already the determining... That's already the determining point of time where it's gonna come out like i i should say at that point it is determined so you can just uh roll away and it shouldn't hit you but it's still tough especially since you can't really see him when he's far away since it's so dark oh plus toxic to boot 
plus yeah. toxic to boot. That really the big three reasons why I have him high up. The fall damage, the stab, the stab, and the skeletons. Those three. Yeah, skeletons are annoying. Especially if you don't have a divine weapon or do the trick that you say in the previous video. Yeah. Where like you put on the two rings and they won't yeah. find you. Yeah. The two illusory rings make him a big of a big pushover for sure. Okay. Yeah. What's yours, number eight? My number eight is the bear gargoyles. Oh they, higher no, than mine. Yeah, they do not join the big boys in the last two tiers. There's they're the last ones in dangerous but glaring weakness. Oh by the way, just to let people know, I will be up uh, I'll be having that, that tier list that Hanfi made in the description below, so be sure to check that out as well. Yep, yep. You can like follow along if you're um, watching on a PC, you can just open it in a new tab, for example. Um, but yeah, Gargoyles, it's, the weakness is just bursting down the first one, and there's a pretty good strat for that. Um, um, I mainly start off as Bandit in my run, so I get a battle axe at the beginning, right? right. And if you upgrade that to plus 5, don't even need to invest into strength. There is actually a very, very consistent strat of bursting down the first gargoyle before the second one even joins, or right as it joins. Which is the two hand, of course, for maximum damage and staggers. You get two hits in, that's the first stagger. Then you get onto his tail, one smashes his tail, one single hit. That's another hit, so another stagger. We had two staggers in, since that tail cut counts as one hit. Your next hit will stagger him again, that's three. And then you can get in two more hits or like an R2. And he'll be dead before the second one even joins with a plus five battle axe. It's tough to pull off though, it's a lot of precision. And sometimes he'll just jump back, get a stupid amount of iframes by the way, or just not behave and it's, it's all a menace. But it's still manageable if the second one joins in. It's just very annoying, it's very annoying. Really, it's a 2v1. 2v1 yeah. is a problem. That's we're gonna get to that 2v1 later, though. I, I, I promise you that. We're gonna yeah. get to that 2v1 later. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, is that not not everything I say I can say about uh, Gargoyles. Some of their attacks are so stupidly delayed. It's really tough to dodge some of them. Like, let's be honest here. Yeah, some attacks are harder to dodge than like. Capra Demon or Quailark, for example. There are some tight windows in there, and they've got some very unique attacks. And those, that flying attack where they drop down and then they fake you out and hit you with the hover. Ah, that's so stupid. I think also the the tail attack. That tail attack gets me. Yeah, the tail attack is pretty annoying. But most importantly, it's just take out the first one as soon as possible. Yeah. And you should Good. Yeah, make that shit one on one on one. Don't try two yeah. one. That's really tough though. Like you've got to be precise for that. Yeah. That's all I can say about them. Right. Yes, yeah, your turn. Number seven. Okay, number seven. In now the next year, brutal but manageable. Um, the penultimate one. And the first one in here, number seven is Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Really? Damn, that's so high. Yeah, I swear everybody says Gwyn is such a pushover. I don't think so, though. Like, let's be real here for a second. You've got to parry him, right? Let's be real here. Otherwise, he might be the hardest boss if you don't parry him. No, even without parrying him, I don't think he was that bad. I think he is, honestly. Like, really, the only thing for me is just his quick swing, and that's it. And his hand grab. He just has infinite stamina, that's what it feels like. He just chases you down, you've got no chance to heal. So yeah, I just go for parries, honestly. And parries are harder than rolls. Like, I gotta say, rolling Sif's attacks is much easier than parrying Gwyn. That's my take on that. But uh, why he isn't much higher is there is a quite consistent strategy for him that's also used in some no hit runs and maybe sweet runs, I don't know about them. 
is you obviously parry the first leaping attack, which he always does, the lower or the higher one. No matter they are, they both have pretty big windows to parry, right? Two hand that bad boy weapon, whatever you have, stab him, and then you get behind him action. Wait for his next attack, and as soon as he does it, roll back like two or three times. And that triggers him to do another leaping attack, or the quick stab. And those are easy to parry, so you just, as soon as he is triggered to do those, just walk forward and press parry. And you've pretty much got him in the stun lock with those easy windows. You just don't want him to do the quick swings or the kicks that uh, drain your stamina when you have your shield up, because you want to parry, right? That's the real danger. You don't want to fight him in neutral, you just always want to have him go aggro on you uh, with those jumping attacks. Because in neutral he's just gonna beat you down. And he does so much damage, it's ridiculous. You know it's a shame? It's a shame that when you get his boss weapon, it doesn't light on fire. Yeah, that is quite a shame. It's still powerful though, it's quite powerful actually. On a quality build. Yeah. It's pretty But that's about everything I gotta say to Gwen Webb, about Gwen Webb. One more thing, his grab. He said that was kind of troublesome for you to dodge. You can't just walk. You can't just walk behind him and he'll not hit you. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, what? You can just walk? Yeah, you can't just walk. You don't even have to run or roll. You can't just walk. If And if you do it correctly, he will not hit you. <laughs> like his easiest attack. You, you can't see my face. My face is like stunned. <laughs> oh, D. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, he straight up miss it because his tracking on that attack is absolutely horrendous. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's, that... let, 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 let's move up to my number seven. I guess All it right. makes it even easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now it's your turn. <laughs> Alright, number seven, I have the Sanctuary Goyang. Now this is the first DLC boss that we that we have in the list. In my list, anyways. Number seven, the Sanctuary Goyang. I think it's pretty tough. His tail attacks is pretty ruthless, his charge attacks, like overall if you try to find him one one, he's actually pretty tough and he's pretty fast. But yeah. like, I would okay. say I would say he's like a tougher version of Sith. Mm -hmm. Honestly, one of the toughest battle in the game is after beating Sanctuary Guardian, going back to spawn. Oh my I've, god, dude, have you tried that? I've done it once. It is so brutal. It is so brutal. <laughs> Thank God that gives the cows a boss, cause um, we could just talk about Sanctuary in general since. Uh, He's he's my next one anyway. Oh, okay. my number. Talk about him. Yeah. In general. Two v one. Yeah. Just yeah. for the tail, just for the tail weapon, right? You know, like tail weapon is kind of trash because whips are yeah, going in Dark Souls one. Yeah, if you can't backstep, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it is. Yeah. But Sanctuary, one, I I kind of love his gimmick that the arena is slightly filled with water, so his electric attacks have a bit of an extra AoE. I right, think that's right. a gimmick that like doesn't hinder you too much. Like for example, I don't know, Bed of Chaos, the whole fight, it's not too gimmicky. It's just a pretty fair fight. It gives you a good taste of how aggressive the rest of the DLC is. And he's tough for sure. I've actually beaten him hitless today. Like on my what third try, I think. Pretty tough still. I've got one tip for every beginner. Y'all know about his um I don't know, like the freaking flailing attack where he flails either with his claws or with his head and he just goes in for a combo, right? Right, 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 right. So if he does two head attacks or two uh, uh scratching attacks then he'll not follow up. Those 
that then the combo will will end after two hits, either two head or two scratches. Oh, but, so, but if they mix up mix if you mix some matches, then there'll be like the full combo. Yep, yep. If he first does a scratch, then a head, then a head attack, or maybe the other way around. I don't know if that's possible. Probably. Then he'll do a full combo. I just learned that recently. I and yeah, his charge is pretty annoying. Add the water attack, just throw that to the side, but don't be too slow, otherwise he's stagger and charging. And he doesn't know. Yeah, like that, where he, charge, where he ducks his head and is like, I'm ready! Yeah. And then he just he goes straight just in. Ramp into you. That shit is wild. It's so hard to dodge that guy, honestly. Because. Kind of, yeah, kind of. Yeah, because it catches you off guard. Like, that, that shit yeah. is like. He's just so oppressive sometimes. He barely even gives you space to hit him. Like after his freaking electric range attacks, there usually isn't any time to hit him whatsoever. Either he's too far away or he's already somewhere else. And like on the on the flailing attack, you gotta have good reactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a lot of health, so uh, as long as you don't need to heal. You should be good, you should be good. But 2v1 good luck. Yeah, yeah. 2v1 good luck. Like, like, Godspeed, Godspeed. <laughs> I, I've done it once and it's just so tough. I, I've so done it tough. once too, but I don't think I'm ever doing it again. <laughs> I've done it with a demon great machete, with Loki the slowest weapon in the game. I don't remember what I gave it with, but I, that shit was... nah. <laughs> that's not fun. I mean, it's not you're not supposed to fight them really two v one. That's not what the boss is designed for. So, why, why? But still, still, they just it's... did that just to be funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they literally just did like, that just to be funny. Yeah. Like, is somebody a masochist enough to go in there two v one versus the boss and go deal? help from summons either? Yeah. But yeah, that's Sanctuary, that's everything I could say about him, I guess. Alright. Oh yeah, my number six. Yes. My number six is the Four Kings. Ooh, pretty close to mine as well. Mine nope. are again number five. Just like <laughs> again. I have a feeling that I got yeah. four is gonna be the same though. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I said I said the top is gonna be super similar again. Yeah, like here's the thing with the four kings. All right, first it's a four. It starts off as a one v one, and then becomes a two v one, then a three v one, then a four v one. If you take too long, yeah, if you're not fast enough, of course. Yeah. So first, these guys have a lot of HP, a lot of HP. The magic attack does massive damage. The slicing attack also does massive damage. The AOE is stupid. <laughs> got too many, got, and then, and then the, 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 the stupid grab attack that oh, takes away your God. humanity on top of that because they're just thirsty for some humanity. Yeah, I, they are super dangerous. These guys are, uh, like, I understand that even with the poison method, right, because that's what a lot of people recommend, where you, where you have, like, a lot of poise so you could tank through some of these hits. It doesn't even matter, because if you still take a lot of damage, you could try to drink your essence fast, but if you're not fast enough, oh, you've done. Yeah, and the arena is so dark, it's kind of tough to make out whether you're going to hit them or not. Yeah, it's also sometimes, like, they sometimes feel so far away, but you're actually really close to them, and the vice versa is true. Yep, yep. Like, I don't but know what, what that is, honestly, but that shit was... Yeah. It's just that you, that's just that you have no ground to see, honestly. So you don't like see the distance between you and them. Yeah, that's exactly. Amazing. That's what it is. But oh, it, it also that just a four one. Even if you kill one and it becomes three, and you still gonna kill the boss, more more of them will show up. Yeah, in a one v one, they are still tough anyway. But in a two v one, it's nasty. Oh, and then four. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 4v1 game. 4v1. Yeah. I've actually done a 3v1, I know. 100% 3v1, maybe 4v1 at one point. Because my weapon just didn't have enough damage up. Yeah, and yeah. it's possible with good RNG because the kings are programmed 
to only attack you really and not even go in that much uh, if um, they are only a, a programmed to attack you when you're in range so uh, you'll only get really ganked if, if you're close to too many of them yeah but, but some, if you also try to run away from one and then yeah. the other one's like where you were you looking boy and then you yeah. get oh shit no yeah but like one we one they are all right because there's for every single thing they do there is a valid counter so for example for the wide sweep you know the double attack where they go from right left left right usually i think yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're close to that they have a sour spot and they, they actually deal significantly less damage yeah even if for the you're the 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 hogger they hit yeah which is also that's tough that's tough yeah um, Personally, I log on to the attack, dodge it, and then I log off, because sometimes it uh, it's, it's kind of tough to determine whether I'm in range, so I just log off so I can free aim my attack, which makes it much, much easier, in my opinion, to hit them. Um, but yeah, the big, big thing, in my opinion, are the three magic attacks. The AOE explosion, the disc, and the grab attack. Because the thing is, those stall time. Those stall time for more kings to appear, right? Right, that right. Red. And they do massive damage to boot. Yeah. The AoE uh, can't really punish them with damage, but you can drink Estus, you can uh, consume a green blossom, or buff your weapon up. So, so that's what, Yeah, that's what you should do in that situation. The disc, honestly, is the stupidest. Because you can't. Because in a like in a no run, what do you even do? It's, <laughs> you don't a, it's have a homing. It's homing. And, yeah, and fun fact, it actually stays in the arena after you beat the kings. You can die to that. Really? Yeah, I've tested it. I've taken damage from the freaking disc that was still in the arena. You can still die from that. And yeah, that one just stalled so much time that disc. But the grab is not that bad because. But you've, you've got to have really good spacing for what I'm about to tell you. You can actually dodge away a bit and then use the wind box that they suck you in with to uh, get a very, very early strike in on them while they haven't even finished the animation. So, for example, I have a demon great machete. I already input R1 right before their attack ends and they soak me into them. I hit them instantly. I get two hits off and then I am out. But that is obviously super, super precise. Do not recommend for new players. Yeah. They are tough. Stupidly tough. Yeah. Especially also, I think they're even more tougher because if you decide to not give a... What's his name? King Sinker Frame, the... The... What is it? The Lord Vessel first, they're much harder. Because you have to fight them first. Yeah, yeah, if you want Calf to spawn. Pretty annoying. Alright, so, wait, you said it's close, right? So, your number five is also the Four Kings as well? Yeah, what's your number five? My number five is the Bag of Chaos. There it is. My <laughs> love. Y'all, these guys are ridiculous. Dude. The platforming is to. I have an Instagram video about the Bag of Chaos, and that's the <laughs> only video that gave me a thousand plus views. Damn. They gave me a thousand plus views because that's how ridiculous it is. <laughs> you vlogging the plat like I had it, it like I literally had it in the Instagram video where like. I was bugging, I get slapped, and they just throw me off, off the platform. Yep. Hicks, like they slap you down, you get them hicks. The it's worst one though, the worst one though, is that I run, I jump, I made to the lower branch of the tree, and just when I was about to go and, and move, the hand hit me and knocked me off. Yeah. It's such I a remember, trolling fight. Because that's how I ended the goddamn Instagram video. This shit came out a <laughs> long time ago, but oh my god, dude. It was an awesome I thing bet. for the support. The thousand views is lit. I never expect I did not see that coming. 
a thousand views up. Thank you for the support. Head of chaos, head of chaos, the legit way is never fun. <laughs> Like, whoever created the idea of making the bag of chaos that way, <laughs> were you high? Were you uh, high? I, mm, I don't think they were high. Maybe they just got dumped by their significant other that they had just had, had to release all their stored hatred for humanity into one boss. <laughs> That's my personal theory. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I sure saw this like this picture like on Google where it's like uh well like uh well the, the girl was like hey hey uh hey babe we need to talk I was like yeah what's up uh, and like and then like he was like saying look it's not working out it's like doing push ups with you it's just not working out with some shit like that as as like oh my god are you breaking up with me I was like yes <laughs> that's what happened to those guys. Yeah, for sure. If I were to quote Neo, it was uh, hard. It was harsh. Like to to have that much frustration in your heart, it's it's gotta be a harsh dump. And if I were to quote Neo's Neo Gamespark, I think definitely check him out as a YouTuber. Whoever created this idea, I want to slap them in the face. <laughs> I want to <laughs> slap them in the face. It's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> What, like, what, 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 in your, what, what was going through your mind when you created this boss? Monstrosity for sure. And this boss was supposed to be like the four, the four people, the one with the great soul. This is a boss with the great soul, wait, not great, the Lord soul, right? That's what it is, the Lord soul? The Lord soul. And yeah, it's just make about it into a platforming battle. <laughs> Yeah, wow, I actually raised a bit. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, that, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say about the bad chaos. It's best to be moved forward because I'm, I'm, I think I'll keep going on forever. First fight in the game for sure, for sure. Like, I don't think anybody disagrees, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we actually make it to the top four. So yep. my number four, which is probably gonna be the same as yours. Calvary. Really? Yes. I have Our minds are totally but but keep going with Calamite. Calamite? Alright, so these top four bosses, I'm pretty sure everyone can guess who they are. Like they go no matter what yeah. list and no matter what order, people always have these guys in the top four period. Like Yeah. I would say though. Like well, like without question. But Calumny, oh my, my lord. First is the theme, so I was like, oh, 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 it's fine, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> I love it, I love it. Get pumped up. His slice attacks, you know, like, when he moves his arms and stuff, his tail attacks, his breath attacks aren't bad. But, most of them, yeah. Most, yeah, sure, most of them. His psychic attack though. My <laughs> word. That shit is so stupid. And when you get hit, right? If you, if, if, correct me if I'm wrong. When you take another hit again, your defenses are lower, right? So you take more damage if you get hit by the psychic attack. Yeah, twice the damage, so you probably get one shot. Just let it run out. I, it's ridiculous. It, that psychic attack. That psychic attack and gain the tail weapon. And the and like the whole thing where he charges up and like he spins around and he like spins around the flames, my guy. Those yeah, three. The fake out. The fake out the stuff. That 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 shit is so hard. This I'm this boss is so hard. Like, I'm gonna wait till we get to your side because I'm gonna have a lot of say on that, but Let's yeah, talk about yeah. Torius because he chose like Torius for number four. We should die. Yeah. Artorius. What a tough fella. What a tough fella. Let's let's be real here. Just so aggressive, so fast, some attacks are literally unpunishable. Like you can't punish them without putting yourself in a situation where uh, you might get hit. Maybe you won't, but you might, you know? But right, right, right. yeah, like why does he land lower than, for example, Calamite from me on my list? 
It is mostly just because he has way less health, so his fight is much faster, even though I don't think he's necessarily offensively uh, way harder than like Calamite, for example. So he's he is still in my brutal but manageable tier. The last three are in the tier called Sweaty Hands. <laughs> we, were, we, were swe- we were swinging that game. We were yeah. swinging that game. We had to take showers back to back, man. <laughs> Artorius is still manageable, especially if you hit him out of his buff, which is really, really easy because every single time, every single time he buffs up, he ma- he does two rolls to the back away from me. He'll always roll twice, then he'll buff up. And you just have to rush in because if he if he has that buff up, he, he's just the hardest. Like there there's no point denying that I think. Like if he has the buff up, he's just so aggressive, he just does so much damage, he doesn't stop. And it, it stays up for a long time too, so don't let him buff. And yeah. Please don't. He does have some attacks that are relatively easy to punish. For example, the big leap, where he does like a scream. Then he leaps into the air, you just walk forward and he won't hit you. But his spin to win, his freaking triple smash combo where he where he where he jumps into the air, damn. Like you can really only punish him on the third hit. Because if you try the first or the second one, he might always do a third one. And yeah, then you're gonna get stun locked on the ground. Yeah, he's tough for sure. And he's super deceptive. He's got some attacks that look similar as well. He does a lot of damage. I recommend Wolfring for him though. You can poise through some of his attacks purely with Wolfring, which is ironic because it is his own. Yeah, so he should. It would be oh, crazy. It would be what? crazy if he had the Wolfring on him, and like you weren't able to knock him out of that power buff thing. Yo, that would be nuts. Imagine fighting Artorias with both his shield without the broken arm yeah, and Sith. Yeah, he had a broken arm and he's kicking our asses up. Yeah, it's, he, is, he is ridiculous. Also a neat little detail before the boss fight, which doesn't have to do anything with the difficulty, but you can hear him breathe when you reach his arena, which is just sick. It's really cool. I ain't got that, actually. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he's just super aggressive, tough. If you're using a slow weapon, good luck. Good luck, because you're, <laughs> you're not gonna get to punish many attacks. You're gonna have I, to be patient I, or have poise. I'm just gonna say it out loud, there's not too much to punish here. <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I that's thought, number four for me. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, so what's your number three? My number three is Manus, Father of the Abyss. Really? Oh shit, okay. Under Calamite, yes, under Calamite. And I suppose everybody else knows uh, who the other one is in my top two. Yeah. Or the other two, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> but Everyone man knows. Is, man is, oh, he has such a large health pool. It's, it's. The battle with him takes a long time, and he does deal a lot of damage. His combos are super deceptive, too. Like when he does the one, two sweep. But you know, maybe he has got a delay third strike. And sometimes he also just uses his ca- his catalyst to smash down you, which can also be like two, maybe three sometimes. He also has a freaking tail attack, which is so, so rare that I don't know the timing <laughs> to be honest to dodge it. And I just have to get kind of lucky. But yeah, that almost never happens. And oh my god, his magic attacks. Like, I hope you have the silver pendant, <laughs> then they are not too bad. But if you don't have the silver pendant, oh my god, are G-G they tight no to Yeah, <laughs> like, like freaking fan attack, where he just uh, pulls up the freaking stream of dark magic. That will probably one show you, especially if you get caught early. And sometimes if you don't, uh, if you don't time it well enough, you'll even get caught on your roll. Uh, because it spreads out, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you will still take the full brunt of that attack, and yeah, you will die. Then he also has uh, two other magic attacks. The one is one is the dark rain, and one is um, a homing attack that always comes from the outside of the battle and always goes uh, and always homes up to Manus. Uh, 
doesn't care about your positioning. You only gotta stand in front of him for that run up. If you're not fast enough, you're gonna get caught. I don't think there's a way to dodge through it, but correct me if I'm wrong. I got, I'm not sure, honestly. Yeah, the dark rain is very tough to outrun. Like, yeah, that's that, that's tough. like a, it's like, it's practically like an AOE. Like, you finish. Yeah. yeah. Like, I hope you have the silver pendant, especially for that, if you're doing no hit. Because, wow, is it annoying to dodge all of those. They are just coming from everywhere, coming for you. And then he still got that nasty, big combo. You know, where he lets out the scream and that's the big combo, grabs you, throws you I like into the air. I like to call the Wombo Combo, right? That's the Wombo yeah. Combo this you have. <laughs> I, I'm going to say it out loud. I'm happy when that attack happens, because I think it's easy to dodge, actually. Yeah, but, no, but if you get caught, you finish. Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> might one shot you. But yeah. you know what they did in this game? It's kind of nice. If you get caught early on, the later hits won't deal the full damage. Take notes, Dark Souls 3. Oh shit, they didn't. Ah, well. Ah, whatever. Well, anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? Who, wait, which boss are you talking about? Which boss are you trying to play? Dark Souls 3, because there's no poise and all. They just sometimes, it, at least it feels like they just uh, hit you with true combos that you can't get out. Like, you know, for example, the, the Night Slayer guy that has that Fume Ultra Greatsword at the small yeah, ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. And I get hit by the first strike i mean yeah if i don't get hit a single time i'm gonna win duh if he hits me once i'm dead because he'll just combo me to death and that's it so yeah because he just deals full damage anyway but manus yeah manus they balanced him a bit more in that sense he's still damn tough and he it's also kind of tough to see where he is um with the dark arena not as bad as four kings because that hit, you can still see the ground, but yeah, the the wombo combo is a prime time to just dodge back, buff up, heal up, maybe get a hit on him when he finishes it. I love but, how yeah, that wombo I mean, combo is catching on. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorite memes. <clears throat> oh, but what's your number three? My number three is Ortorius. Is now, I see. Okay, so you already said a lot of things about Torres, but this is what I gotta say. His damage yeah. is unreal. His sword swing going straight gets me off guard. Oh, I didn't talk about that and one. That's I, had, I, had, I, I also had an Instagram video just about Torres. Actually, I had an entire YouTube I video just about Torres, actually. Oh my god. When he's buff, just, just 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 drop your weapons, man. You done. Just give up, please. Just give up. Call it a game. Yeah. Just call it a game. All right. And I used to play like Fury Sword at the beginning, and he barely did any damage. <laughs> yeah, he has so much mad. <laughs> barely did fire it. Yeah, barely did nothing. Dude. It was so bad. And like, quite like Fury Sword sucks for DLC. Let's face it, good for Ornstein and Smo and the rest of the game, but not for the DLC. Don't recommend it. Oh my god, and like, his jumping attacks get me too, like, like I think the biggest thing that I got with- So, on the Instagram video, I died so much to him, that I, I yoked so hard that I got yoked at because I was too loud. <laughs> oh I my god. I sure got yoga out, yoga because I was too loud. It, it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's a notorious for you, though. Like a I, always, I always call him the Scrub Slayer. <laughs> Not necessarily meant specifically for you, just in general. He's the Scrub Slayer. Oh my god. And like, and like, there's also in the Instagram video, too, like, I think there's like this time where I died to him so much that. You know the platform, the elevator platform? Yeah. Sometimes you go call, call it, it off, off and I fall off. Those those <laughs> those those, those dudes, the dude, the farmer dudes, they, they they corner me and they kill me. And then the famous, you're walking from the bridge and you just fall straight through the hole. <laughs> that oh, shit, those, those three is like Oh god. Yeah. That yeah, yeah he's, he's on the bridge. 
I think charge is so strong because like when he puts his sword in front of him and just charges at you because the tracking on that is like actually kind of nice that the hitbox is so huge so the dodge yeah, time it, is it's, really kind of, it's so close to being a homing it's yeah. so close to being homing like it's stupid it's tight it's tight for sure but yeah that's all i gotta say on Toyus. he's a hard boss obviously but yeah yeah he's, he's still manageable in my opinion right that's not for the number two yep your turn i think the number two Goes to prepare for double and making trouble. I, actually, I think that's reverse. Right? Isn't it prepare for trouble and making double? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Prepare for trouble and making double. <laughs> Pikachu and Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> it's them. Yo, Oinksteen and Smog. Oh, what do I have to say about these guys? 2v1, good luck. Uh, <laughs> Oinkski is fast, his lightning attacks are crazy, Smog coming in, in with the hammer attack is stupid. The moment you get you cornered, the charge. you the, like, charge. the charge. The charge. Even I still remember on your stream, where, like, when you were like, just backing away, and Smog, it's either Smog or Oinkski, one of them, they just stood there for like five minutes or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah. they the dancing got move. And Pitched I was like, out. Dude, that, that, that shit was... Hap- talk, talk. Yeah, that shit was wild. That has happened to me twice now. Once on twice? stream, too. Yeah. Wow. He just glitches out and says, Nah, I, I don't want to do it anymore. My bad, Ornstein. You just take it from me. I'm going to I'm gonna take your power. I'm just going to sacrifice you and do it on my own, buddy. <laughs> Now, I know that only seeing Smog is so notorious that even for some people that heard about Dark Souls and gonna play the game, I'm positive that at least heard of these two before. That's how notorious they are. The damage is stupid. When you kill one of them, the other guy gets a buff and they're even stronger and they're back at full health. Fun fact, I think Smog is actually easier than Oinstein, but uh... Yeah, same. Like, it's, 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 uh, yeah. Oh, I I have a bit of a story about Austin as well. So I was watching the streamer. She's really cool. Check out Root Animes. Very nice streamer. Like her a lot. So she is struggling heavily, heavily in Anna Londo with the giant sentinels. <laughs> so, she, so she just says, okay, gonna make a run for it. These guys are so tough. My Zwei Hander is being blocked by their shield all the time. So annoying. Then they heal up. There's two of them. Also, there's this archer. I'm just gonna see what's uh, what's behind this forkhead. She goes in <laughs> and she sees she sees small and is like, oh, it's a boss. Oh no. Then Ornstein up there drops it and she's like, oh no. No, this was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Do me one, dude. A lot of people are not prepared for this, though. Like, this boss. She, she instantly knew. The cutscene makes it clear. It's about to be over. You're, you're not coming out alive. <laughs> it's over. Yo. The tag team is prepared. And they are that strong. The cutscene, the cutscene is well made in that sense. Yo. These, I, these like... I feel these guys. <laughs> I notorious. Yeah, it's just like you gotta run away. You gotta make sure you heal right. Don't use up all your essence flash. Sometimes you're so busy dodging that you don't get a chance to hit. Yeah, and abuse the pillars, of course. Yeah. So, anything more you gotta say about them? Nah, nah. I think I'm going. I think I'm going. Okay. Gone. Then I guess I'll continue with uh, number two on my own, which is Black Dragon Calamite. Oh, so we go with your number one, guys. Here we go. And you go with I mean, my he's, number one, guys. He's my favorite. He's my favorite. But I don't think he's the hardest. That's what goes to ONS. Yeah. Calamite? Oh, my God. I just did him four hours ago, hitless. Again. Oh, my God. 
What a fight, what a fight. Like doing him hitless is a rush. For sure. Mostly because some of his attacks are just so damn bullshit to dodge. I'm mostly talking about the double head swipe that just pulls you into the hitbox for no reason. <laughs> damn! Um, actually, I only died to that once because I respect that attack so much since I did do Calamite once hitless that was in my soul level 1 run. And I learned to respect that attack because usually I just wear heavy armor I poise through or I don't take that much damage and, you know, I hit him. Not on hitless. No, respect that attack. It's it's just so tough. It's, <laughs> it is dodgeable, but honestly, it feels more like luck to me than actual skill. I know you're supposed to dodge into, into his neck, not his head. I know it's a timing and direction thing, but sometimes he just says no. Nah. You're, you're coming into that second swing, and you're definitely not prepared. <laughs> Apart from that, second bullshit thing is his flying charge. Oh not my the one god, that shit is wild. That shit is yeah. crazy. Not the one where, where, he, where he leans back, runs forward, and then fakes you out with the, with the breath attack. No, I'm talking about the flying one. Oh, Damn, he, that he flies up and then goes straight for the charge. I think after that, you're under the kill, you can get that kill slam. Exactly that one, where he goes for the physical charge and th that hitbox. I, I, I can't, I can't prove this. I'm not a hacker, but I am convinced it is a rectangle. <laughs> it is a rectangle. And it doesn't, it doesn't care that you are, that you are like two centimeters away from his neck or anything, because he's just a flying rectangle and he's just a bulldozer in your way. <laughs> you're out of there. He's a rectangle, dude. He's a rectangle. <laughs> the rectangle just comes in and it says, "Oh, you try to dodge this?" Uh, uh. And like, like the rectangle is is not very, very, very long to the sides like the hitbox no 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 in front of his head too like i'm not getting hit by his head but i'm but i'm already dead <laughs> <laughs> like i don't know maybe i die from fear or the wind i guess which is fair enough but still <laughs> it's really it, that one is really really tight to dodge if you're super far away you can actually get in two rolls and then it's completely safe but usually he's too close uh, my personal strategy is always, just always, whenever you're in neutral and he's about to attack, pull back, just run back, run back, walk back, in case the freaking headbutt attack comes in, because you don't want to be close to that, you want to be out of that, and then wait for something like, you know, his fake out, uh, or just the general white uh, sweeping breath, or maybe the tail slam down, then you can get him, even with an ultra great sword. Then he's manageable, but still so tough. I don't like getting under him because his storms are kind of annoying sometimes, even though it's not that hard to dodge, but still. But yeah, he does so much damage. He has so much health. I think he has the most amount of health in the game, except for four kings, which is obviously different, since there's four of them, right? Yeah, yeah. Not just one. Uh, and not like phases in between which you can heal, like when you kill one king fast enough, you just heal up for the next one and buff him. That's not the thing with Calamite. So like, with with the actual amount of health, I think he's got the highest, him or Manus, whatever. But yeah, he's, he's tough. I don't think his psychic attack is that bad, to be honest. I never get hit by it, and even if I do, I just stall out the freaking... Uh, the debuff, which is like one minute, I think. It's I just get, bad. I just get like stomp time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the de thing is, his his freaking attack animations are super similar. So, for example, he has like a front breath attack that he does when you're right in front of him, and it covers like the basic area in front of him, but not under him, right? Like. And then he's got the long range one, where he leans back goes forward, then does it at a great distance, but not too far to each side. Those look so similar, I can never read which one it is. And if you da dodge it to the wrong direction, you're dead. You're actually dead. So yeah, he's tough. 
Then he's also got stupid delays, like when you're behind him, sometimes he does tail attack, but not the downward slam. The spin to win, where he just goes full helicopter mode. <laughs> wait, 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 I, you were back away from the mic there, can you say that again? Um, the spin to win he does, where he goes helicopter mode, is so annoying. Helicopter! <laughs> yeah. That's super delayed. It's not too hard to dodge, but it, you just gotta know. You gotta be prepared. So he's unique. He's fun. He's tough. Sometimes, though, when, when you're too close to a wall, he does his charge attack. You dodge to the side. He lands right on top of you. That has happened to me today. Wait, he Sometimes lands on top hitbox. of you? Yeah, he has a hitbox when after his charge attack when he lands on top of you. <laughs> Damn, damn. <laughs> it's, it's so bull, honestly. Like when you're in a corner, you gotta dodge that. I mean, don't get into a corner, da, but he like moves around like a maniac across the battlefield. <laughs> but yeah, he's still all right. He's, he's still at the sweaty hands category, of course, though. Just my second, my second hardest boss. Yeah. Now it's time. It's time for, for the, the hardest bosses of the game in our opinion. And you yep. will do the hardest to say your hardest boss first. Which you already technically okay. say, but say it again. Alright, of course. It is all in the small as they are the only ones left. And I did them hitless yesterday to like make the, and refine the tier list. For the first time ever, I had never beaten them hitless before, unlike any other boss, which all I've done. They were the last on that list. So for that fact alone, they already belong in one, but even so, that took me one hour. <laughs> By the way, with a plus 10 battle axe, we're not gonna talk about how garbage that weapon is, please. It has no range! <laughs> <laughs> My god, that was really tough with red, even with red tear stone ring. <laughs> it's just, it's just phase one. It's just phase one, cause I always killed Onstein Smur or Onstein first. Cause Smo is just a big old push over in phase two. Right, Onstein right. is actually tough. But Onstein is tough. I don't know how to fight Super Onstein. I've Especially. Done it before. I mean, I've done it, but I'm not good at it. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Like Super Onstein, one thing that I gotta say about him, my god. You know how he leans back, then he does the one charge attack? Where he goes straight, uh, straight at you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he's so big, he'll, he'll kind of slide above the broken pillars. But when he does that, he'll actually fall off. And then, and that triggers that he gets out of the animation for the charge. So you, because you don't know, because it's not consistent, of course, you have to dodge that charge, then you're right in front of him, but sometimes he just cancels the freaking animation, the last frame you need to dodge, and then he does another attack and catches you. Oh, my God. I think, you know, there's like time where he does that charge, but like he glitches out, and then like he just like reappears right in front of you. That shit, that shit happened to me. Yeah, it's, it's really, really annoying. I call it the zoom zoom, by the way. <laughs> I, I the will zoom zoom. In a second. It's the zoom zoom. The zoom zoom is the worst part about phase one. Because phase one, like, it is damn tough, but it would be quite consistent, right? If yeah, there yeah. wasn't the zoom where he just kind of does what he wants. Let's be honest, yeah. It just kind of goes in that direction, then he stops for a second. Oh, wait. Where did the player go? Oh shit, there he is, now I struck you. Oh. <laughs> too bad. Too bad I didn't have any animation for you to tell when I was gonna attack. My bad. Or, you know, he can also just charge it uh, when he is behind someone and you literally can't see it. And, yeah, and sure. screw. Yeah, smog is like a shield, dude. I was gonna say, they have the highest skill ceiling in the game while also being the most inconsistent and unfair boss, maybe. Probably bad of chaos, but super unfair <laughs> boss <laughs> in the game. Bad. Well, bad chaos should be number one for unfair bosses, alright? Like I said, yeah. 
Wanga slapped the person who made that shit in the face. <laughs> Sometimes you just get unlucky. That's just how it is, even though their skill ceiling is so damn high. Like, here's, here's my take on them. In theory, in theory, they might be the only boss in the game except for four kings, where you might be forced to dodge an attack and you only have a one frame window to do so. So let's say, it's, it's just theory crafting, right? Smo does an attack, and you also see Ornstein charging up an attack. And in between both attacks, you would only have one frame where you would dodge both, you know what I mean? Wait, like when wait. Combo, that's, it can happen in theory, and I'm not ready. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is it yeah, tough? Uh, yeah, the small charge is also stupid. Ah, it's so sometimes, sometimes he just goes for 10, 10, 10 meters, I guess. Sometimes he just uh, cancels it instantly, but I I already know what's your number one. But go ahead and tell the people, of course. My number tell one them. is Magnus, Father of the Abyss. It's a good pick for sure. Oh my god, give him, like, <laughs> this dude is wild, all of his attacks are so brutal, his wombo combo, I don't care if you think you could dodge that shit, his range is longer than you think, it'll get you, <laughs> apparently he has a tail, I had no idea, and then, <laughs> and, like, and, like, like when he does his attacks and when he starts to use his his dark, his hexes and shit like that, there's this one hex where like it's like a horizontal like blast attack. He yeah. does that shit so fast after true, doing true. an attack that you'll have enough time to use a ping and you 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 finish. That's like a straight one shot. Like I could never dodge that shit. That's the move that always got me. I have a fun fact when when. You were talking about the Wombo combo, right? right. So, so I was helping this dude. Um, by uh, I, I got summoned, and they also summoned Sif. Uh huh. And what Manus can do is he catches one play in the Wombo combo, but then he doesn't stand still and just finishes it. Finishes it. No, he'll actually turn around and try to grab the other players in the combo. If I saw that correctly. <laughs> yeah. Like we were all stuck and it was oh it, it was it was it, it, god it was scary <laughs> dude that was fucking good uh, uh, I, uh, one of the things for Magnus is that in the Instagram video throughout that Kai playthrough on New Game Plus I gave I fought every boss one on one, but this boss, I had to summon Mr. Tie Fight Guy. <laughs> I had to. And even with help, even with help, he still destroyed us, dude. Like, your Tie Fight Guy just died in like five seconds, dude. <laughs> like, it was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he shows up, it's like, alright, things are gonna be better. Go. He gets to Boston like five seconds. And then, like, he actually switched builds because he, he hasn't played that build in a while. And then, like, it just gets so much better. <laughs> okay, the hit versus Quail, like, then he dies in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, it do oh. be like that sometimes. It do be like that. <laughs> oh, I, I saw you. I saw you. I don't care. Alright, this is facts. This is this is this is all the truth and nothing but the truth, alright? Yeah. Warnsing, Smog, and Artorius versus Magnus. The game boggy, alright? Magnus yeah. would boggy all of them. I don't give the working to they're gonna get boggy. I mean Artorius got bodied by Magnus with Sif. Throw Sif in there, get some magic, they still go get by. Yeah. Like, but, like, no, like, they will get by. Like, that, that boss, man. That boss. Oh, and during the Instagram stream, oh, in Instagram video, I was like, I was running towards the boss, and, like, the goddamn hex casting just shoots me in the back. <laughs> yeah, that's the strategy for that. You gotta get right in front of him. 
uh, like on the platform down below, then he'll just slightly walk forward, because he can't aim at you, then you can get him. That's my personal threat. Or you can take the uh, way that Alvina shows you and catch him from behind. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! That's all I gotta say. It's still annoying. It's still annoying. But you always have to take a bit of a detour for them. Yeah, but Magus, without question, is the hardest boss of the game, in my opinion. He is insane, yeah. And with that... With that, we have officially, we have officially gone through the entire list of how we view Magus. Oh my God, man! How we view, <laughs> how how we view all the bosses and how we rank them from easiest to hardest. Right. So this was the second video, the second part of the video. So for those of you who watched both parts and stay tuned to all of it, thank you, thank you a lot. It was and, a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you showed up. Be sure, be sure of course, to give Hanfi a follow, follow him on Twitch, be sure to be there in the chat, follow him on Twitter, join his Discord, all the links will be in the description below, definitely, definitely do check him out, he does great stuff, especially Dark Souls content. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so, is that, if you got, you got any final words? <sighs> now I'm exhausted. But <laughs> it was fun, it was fun to be here and gush a bit about Dark Souls, of course. And hate on Bed of Chaos, as always. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cathartic experience, you know? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, shout outs to everybody for watching the whole thing through, thank you so much. Yes. It's very much appreciated. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you put up a good performance. Now. Oh, wait, wait, say so? No, no, no. no. I just right. saw it. Ah, okay, okay. Now. This will be the end of the video, so be sure to follow me on all the social medias. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, my live reaction, YouTube channel, all that good stuff. Subscribe. Be sure to give this video a like. It really helps me out. Comment down below on your top 26. How... Uh, bosses, how would you rank them from easiest to hardest? I would definitely like to l hear your uh, your th your lot your your your, your, your I, I I'm I'm like I'm like messing up all game. Your thoughts, your ideas, or, or or go to the tier list maker that I used and uh, do your own and send it uh, in a comment, right? Yeah, yeah. The link for that tier list link will be in the description below, by the way. Also, all all of Hanfi's social media will be in the description below as well. And be sure to hit, also be sure to hit that subscribe button for future content. And hit that bell icon notification for future announcements. And Notification gang! <laughs> and stay breezy, guys. Stay breezy. Goodbye.